I'm trained as a critical theorist of media, um, and I study the platforms and infrastructures of global communication. So what that means is that I'm interested in technological systems and human systems of how we communicate across borders and internationally. I first became interested in global media, um, I guess growing up, because we had satellite television in Mexico, but it was pirate satellite television from the US. So that was a very helpful, formative experience, not only because I learned English really quickly because there were no subtitles, but also because that meant that very early on I was interested in media from elsewhere. So a lot of my work is related to media about borders and migration. And so there's a real clear danger in not thinking critically about how the media, whether that's the news or fictional media, is portraying people on the move, portraying migrants, how we are using technologies and other communication media to talk about borders and why they should exist or not exist. Um, unless we're critically reflecting on those issues, we're just gonna perpetuate what has been centuries long um, practices of not treating migrants humanely, of reinforcing borders in a way that affects people, not only people on the move, but also citizens of all sorts of nations. Um, so there's really very much a sort of pressing issue at stake there um, in thinking critically about these topics. I like to think of my research as multimodal in the sense that it incorporates the very thing that I am talking about in its own creation. So I'm very interested in creating video essays. So I'm interested in using the very footage of the film or television show or newscast that I'm analyzing in order to play around with it and get to the point that I am actually trying to make um, about why they matter. I feel like there's already so much money and resources thrown into technologies for policing borders and tracking migrants. And what I'm hoping my work will do is get us to question that, reassess, and find more just ways to include migrants' voices in this conversation.